Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gemma and today's speed build is all for the Prenocephaly, which is a small dinosaur. You can see a picture of the Prenocephaly here and this is the stats that Prehistoric Kingdom have gave us. It's a one star animal and we can look at the stats whilst I build. Before we do get into stats of the Prenocephaly, I would just like to say that there is many different ways to pronounce dinosaur names and you may be listening to this thinking what is she talking about that's definitely not how you pronounce it and if you don't think i am pronouncing it right let me know in the comments below of how you would pronounce it so getting back to the stats of the prenosophily here it is a one star animal its preferred climate is tropical and dry it is found in the late cretaceous period and the dig site is in mongolia i'm not going to go into all the details about the paddock size, fully density and so on and so forth. One thing I just do want to highlight is the security recommendation is 5%. So these dinosaurs are relatively small, so you can just let them run about and do their own thing. And they also are quite known for butting into each other, which is an interesting concept. So the name Prenosophily means sloping head, which is a really great feature considering the shape of their skull. The head of a Pronosophile was rounded and sloping. The dome had a row of small bones, spikes and bumps. As young juveniles, the Pronosophile would use their head butting and flank butting behaviours for fun. As they grew into adults, the males used this behaviour to defend the herd. So this is why you should probably do some research about these animals before you go away and build their habitat. Because you can see here, this fence is not going to hold a Pronosophile, let's be honest. And I should have probably looked all this up before I started building. But hey, it's a learning experience and it was really fun to build it. And that's all I can say on the matter. So when we do get into beta, beta, banana... I will be doing a lot more research and hopefully we'll have something that's similar to the Zoopedia that we see in Planet Zoo and I'll be able to be guided a lot more of their animal needs and, and all this stuff. So for now, it's just a fun little habitat, but we'll certainly be making it a bit more realistic when we do have the game and all of its, its glory with it. So on that note, guys, what I'm going to do is I'll leave you with the speed builds. Enjoy it. I have also included some of the animations, the rigs from the Prenosophily. I'll do it at the end of this video. I'll also put in a timestamp in case you want to skip to that. I never know where to put these things in these videos, to be honest. Sometimes I think I'll put them at the start so it hooks you guys in and you can watch it and you can enjoy it. And then sometimes I think, well, maybe it'd be better if, you, if we just continued the speed builds and you can see the progression of the habitat and the thought process and all that goodness. So uh, that's the decision I've made. The decision is once once the habitat speed build's done, we're gonna have a look at the rig of the Prenosophily, see them, you know, running about, eating, sleeping, just doing Prenosophily stuff, you know? I also was considering making a dinosaur roulette for the remaining of the, the alpha. It's roughly about, I would say, 13 episodes left if I put out once a week. So I was going to write down all the dinosaurs that we have and at the end of each episode, I was going to spin a wheel and that's going to determine which dinosaur I build for next, which is kind of just a little fun idea. I'm not entirely sure if I should do that or not or if I just should just continue, you know, picking random dinosaurs to build if we have them in game or not in game. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you up for some dino roulette? That is uh, that is the question for you. I also kind of don't want to leave you, if I'm being totally honest, because I don't tend to do this. I don't tend to just stop talking and then let you guys enjoy the rest of the speed build. But I honestly have run out of things to say. I could talk about the beta, actually, and how awesome that looks. It is fantastic some of the things that we're getting in, in beta just are blowing my mind especially like the the buckets i mean geez oh this is beta and we're getting like buckets and in um, backstage stuff which has been longing for in planet zoo and it just blows my mind that the developers of prehistoric kingdom really listen to this community and before the beta was announced they put out a little questionnaire to say you know what would you be 
interested in building in your parks like would you want it to be more of a theme park do you want it to be a zoo do you want it to be like a, a nature reserve and what kind of things are you really looking forward to you know what is your must props scenery stuff like was the building items that is a must for you and i just thought that was really nice to give it back to the community and say look what do you guys want to see this game is going to be for you guys like let us know and basically we'll take all that information and and build accordingly and i just thought that was a really nice thing because let's face it in a game like planet zoo they do listen to the community a lot but it just feels like Prehistoric Kingdom just have it so much better. And again, this is just my opinion because I absolutely adore this game. I'm not saying that Planet Zoo is a bad game. I'm just saying from the get-go, we have had so much more given to us through Prehistoric Kingdom than imaginable. And it's just going to shape up to be an absolutely fantastic game. And I honestly can't wait. You guys will know that from my reaction video. Um... It is genuine. I'd done it on Twitch, so everyone saw my reaction for the first time. Uh, nothing's been edited with that, well, except from all the swearing, because YouTube doesn't tend to, to favour if you, if you drop the F-bomb every now and then. But I think I edited it out pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, this is a bedding area. This is a little bedding area for our, um, our dinosaurs. I was wanting it to be just like this shaded area, but then I thought if it starts raining, their hay's going to get wet. So this is me just absolutely faffing about with the, the angle of things. And I wanted it to be that it was stretched out into the rock and it only had this pole at the front kind of keeping it all together. So that was a bit of an interesting thing. And then we're just popping in a little bit more foliage. So yeah. I am honestly going to leave you guys now. Thank you so much for listening to me waffle all this time. I very much appreciate it. I appreciate it if, if you haven't already subscribed. If you would like to subscribe. There's going to be so much more Prehistoric Kingdom videos coming up on the channel. There's going to be tutorials as well. I've already got 30 of them planned out for you guys. Depending on what we see in beta, you'll see a couple of them there. Yeah, lots of things to come. I'm going to stop waffling. Enjoy the rest of the speed build and we will catch up for a little bit uh, with the animal rigs. Hey everyone, hopefully you enjoyed that little look at the Prince of Day. So we're back in Alpha Kingdom. This is the tour part of the video. You can see that I've stopped building over this section and we're now going to focus on building across here. So if I just take you down, excuse my dodgy dodgy, oh, auto save. There we go. Take you down to the little Alpha Kingdom sign here. So yeah, instead of building to the right hand side, 
I think there. Uh, we're now building to the left hand side, so we'll come through our welcome gates here. Um, and just pass our side here, we've got kind of the exit. We've also got toilets that I've, I've not done anything about. And then the micro raptor forest. So if you come around this bit, this is where our uh, habitat is going to be sitting. So along the top, we still do have our monorail station. So basically, I, I took out the monorail station. Oh, we've got a rogue tree as well. And instead, I've, I've started to build the habitat. Here's the start of it. So I believe this is the smallest fence that we can get in game. So this is probably, like I said, the speed build, not going to be enough security wise, especially because I don't know how thick mesh can really be. But I th I'm pretty sure if they're if they're you know really good at Olympic headbutting, then the they have no no hope, so to speak. So around here, we've got our little cave area. We've also put in some trees and some planters as well. Um, over on that side, we've got our raptor enclosure. So yeah, this is kind of like the little cave that you can look in to see if they're sleeping. I'd imagine this to be two bay glass as well that they can't they they can't look out, but you can look in. So if they were sleeping here, and you've got this lovely shade as well, um, to keep them nice and dry. But yeah, our guests should be able to see them if they were going for a little snooze. And, um, and then around here is the habitat itself, so we've got the water area that they can go for a little cool off if they wanted to, a little drink, and then lots of foliage here. Again, going for the more tropical, tropical base, so we've got the tropical plants, palm trees. This feels really laggy to me, I don't know if it's coming across on screen, but it just kind of feels a bit, a bit laggy. Hopefully it's it's not too bad but yeah it's a really small enclosure i'd imagine there'd be about two to three of uh prenosophily in here um that is kind of the plan i thought that was hovering it's not it's just because it's got a little bit of a bend to it but yeah that's that's their habitat so we'll just take you up so you can see it from above that is the the whole habitat enclosure size. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. But like I say, there is a number of things that I would change about this habitat if I was to do it again. And we will be doing it again once we get the animals in full release. Because we're not going to get them for bay anyway. So early access, hopefully we'll get them then. But that is their habitat. So if you enjoyed it, give this a thumbs up. So really appreciate it. If you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will catch you in the next one. Till then, take care.